shot or what the process was? Well, uh, coming out of the timeout, our plan was to go with the low wing dodge, to be patient and to uh, push the ball behind and try and get it around. And, I don't know, I just got a step and we've been practicing it all week and uh, I had my shot and I took it and went in. Where did you beat him? No. Uh, I beat him underneath on the uh, lefty wing and uh, beat the goalie on the bottom, bottom right corner. What does this win mean for you guys? Uh, it's something that the seniors were talking about in the beginning of the week that they'd never beaten Georgetown. And, uh, we had a hard week of practice all week. We were going against long poles for just 6v6. Six six. We had six long poles versus us, and we just wanted to work hard and run hard, and uh, it worked out. Our uh, offensive minis went against short poles a lot today, and we got a lot of offense moving, moving the ball behind and getting it outside, and our minis got it done with their shots, and we, uh, everyone contributed today. It was a great, great win. You guys talk a little bit about sort of your quickness against their size, and you know, did the quickness, you know, quickness prevail? Okay. Yeah, well, uh, me and Steve DeMario, we, uh, we're not the biggest attackmen, and uh, we just we know how to use our feet, and uh, our middies know that. We looked, uh, looked to feed right after our change of direction, and uh, they knew that. They were going behind back doors all day, and uh, we, just, we just moved the ball well. We got our opportunities, and we shot a lot better percentage today, and that's, uh, that's how we won the game. Can't talk to a lot was the uh Said we talked about the offense and you know, not scoring, and you know, the third period there was only one goal, and the fourth of the quarter there was 11 goals. What was the difference in those two, two games? <laughs> um, I don't know. We just we came out in the second half, and uh, they hit, they scored first, and then we kind of went to a little bit of lull. We uh, we like to go on runs. It's kind of the way we score. I mean, we score in bunches, and uh, I don't know if we just shoot the game got a little more hectic and. We just moved, kept moving the ball, started to our game plan. Kids got open. Kids put the ball in the net. And with the uh, uh, time out there with 27 seconds to go and they had the ball, what did you guys talk about you know, in the huddle and defending that last charge? We, we let the defense just, just, uh, settle down and they, we let them talk. And uh, they said it's their turn to step up and make a stop for us. And uh, they held them to, what was it, nine, nine goals or something like that. And eleven, um, 11 goals, and uh, oh, geez. and uh, it's just it was their turn to um, step up. And Dingo and uh, Craig Anderson, they had a grand ground ball, and Craig ran it all the way up the field, and uh, we got a lucky bounce. He stayed with us with four seconds left, and uh, it was just something that we were very special to be a part of. You guys talk about playing before the larger crowd. You know, uh, put over six thousand, you know, people today. Uh, could you have, uh, really hear the UMass fans out there? Yeah, they were great today. I mean, usually you see the fans before the game, you hear them before the game. When that game starts, it's just you're on the field, you, you block you block everything out. But we heard them, a couple of go UMass chants, and it helps. We've got great fans. That's good. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talked about uh, you know the offense uh, today. Uh, you know certainly there was plenty of they got contributions from a lot of different guys. That that's really the key. Um, in particular on attack, we haven't scored on attack in the last couple of games. Um, you know, you Biscardi there, and he gets two, and Demario gets two, and man, he gets three. That's what the attack's supposed to do uh, if you're going to be a successful offensive team. You can't count on your middies all the time. You know, they're, they're, you know, the attackmen are on the field, they're in transition, you know, most of those guys are on man up, so they're supposed to score, and, and they did that for us today. Does this game feel any different now that you guys aren't in the same conference and that this could be the last time you play? Um, no, you know, uh, you know, anytime you play a quality program such as Georgetown, you know, you, you um, you get fired up for it. We, we've had a great rivalry, and if you look back over the last 10 years, there's probably six or seven of those were decided by one goal. So it, it doesn't, it didn't feel any different. It, it actually felt like a league game, you know, because we're so used to it. How does the win, how does your team take the win into the postseason, your final regular season games? Um, you know, we're not in any postseason yet, so. Um, <laughs> 
you know, you just hope that those guys understand that you need to work really hard day in and day out and put the effort forth, you know, on Monday and Tuesday and not just on Thursday and Friday. And I, I think they learned a lesson this week. Hopefully they did. Greg, you talk about DeMario's, uh, you know, tying goal. It looked like there was a lot of space there. You know, it must have been a great feeling having put them up front to have them hit that. Yeah, you know, uh, for Steve, it's about confidence. And uh, his defender fell down, and I thought he had about three or four seconds to go to the goal. And he went, like, at, at the fourth second. <laughs> and uh, fortunately for him, he made a great play and, and finished the ball. And, you know, how excited he was as you saw it. Um, but, you know, you need those guys, especially a guy like Steve, to be really aggressive. And uh, fortunately, again, on the fourth second, he was very aggressive. How about Christian's game one at the end there, 33 seconds left? Yep, the goal, you know, uh, he'll remember that the rest of his life, you know, uh, on a big stage and a you know, big game and, you know, in crunch time. And um, happy for him that, that he was able to, to finish the ball again. It was, we were trying to wing dodge it, but we were trying to get him as a decoy to push the ball behind and get it back up top and dodge. And uh, he got inside and got his player, his defender, and he, he just kept going to the goal. He had great stick protection. He kept the stick in tight and fortunately just used his wrist to finish it. And great for him. Great play. Coach, what did they do in the second half? Uh, you guys really outdid them in the face-offs in the first half and then they came back in the second half. What did they do? And Kind of Nothing different. Their kid buckled down. You know, uh, I thought Greg Rushing got a little tired. You know, uh, they did a good job of running him around, and, and uh, I think they knew that he took most of our draws, and we had to throw Anthony Teresco out there. But they also dominated wing wing play. You know, their wings, uh, uh, whether it was Nixon or their other pole uh, or Shuville, who's number nine. Those guys are fantastic, mm -hmm. and you know. They're responsible for a lot of those GBs as well. What's it mean to you, Greg, finally uh, beating Georgetown? You know, they're top guys, some of the seniors. Yeah, uh, I haven't beat them in since uh, 2005, right? So five years. Uh, it's great, good feeling. Again, uh, you know, you aspire to be uh, like programs, the, the stature of Georgetown, the way they play the game, they play it all out, uh, they play run and gun style. That's how we like to play. Um, so it, you know, it, 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 when when you can, you know, when you win a game, playing your style and allowing your guys to play the game the way it should be, in my opinion, there's nothing better for them or for us as coaches. Can you talk a little bit about the, uh, you know, the size factor? They're so big. Yeah. The guys are small. You know, their middies really had a field day on us. Uh, Broncaccio had five, so we had two. Cosas two. Uh, we did a decent job on their attack. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're tough to defend. They're not only big, but they're fast, strong, and they can shoot the ball from anywhere, as you guys uh, witnessed. Guys, good.